welcome back to Garden with Tracy. Today I'm covering a situation that I've already covered in a video, the vine boring uh, larva that destroys your zucchini or any kind of vine plant that you have, your zucchini, your squash, and that's what I was uh, dealing with was they were attacking my, they attacked my zucchini first, I lost a zucchini plant and a couple of my squash plants, but what I done, and I'll show you here, I took and cut the vine at the base of the plant and uh, made an incision and dug out some small larvae that were in there because I could tell that the activity was fairly new and so the larvae were not that big. So what I done is I cut that, cut that stem, dug those larvae out, then I took some seven dust and I sprinkled all over the base of that vine to hopefully deter any more moth or larvae larva from um, either staying in the vine or landing on the vine. Uh, the following day, I dealt with one larva that was coming out of that, that place that I cut. And um, now I wanna show you what the vine looks like. And it's been about three weeks since that activity. And so I done it as an experiment just to see if I could save the plant because it was putting on really good blooms and everything and so I wanted to save that plant if I could as well as any other plants and I thought what's it hurt to try this so I want to show you now three weeks later what this plant looks like I've been getting squash off of the plant ever since I've done that and I want to show you this is what it doesn't look very pretty as far as this um the where I cut the plant, but it's still living and still producing squash. The plant looks great. Uh, still putting on foliage, still putting on lots of blooms and squash. And we're all the way into the end of July, almost August. So this plant still looks good. And although it's time to do my fall plants and I am gonna be planting some um, small squash plants small plants that I have started into my bales and into some different areas to have a fall harvest. But this plant, I'm gonna leave it because I'm just curious as to how long and how well it will do, which I'm watching it really well for beetles, which I see one right there. This is something that will attack and will eat your, eat your leaves. You wanna make sure to, uh, I just come out and check them daily and try to take them off with my hand if I see them and kill them. Um, you can see where it's eat some of my leaf here, but it does work. Cutting into the vine, digging out the larva, and then just sort of watching the plant. And I did water it a little more than I did my other plant, but it does, it does work. And so there's hope for those plants that the larva have already gotten in there or the, the, uh, the moth has already laid the eggs and larvae have hatched and gotten into your vines. You can still save those plants by doing this. So hope this helps you with your garden. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe below. This has been Gardening with Tracy. Thank you for watching.